All right, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Andy Kane. My name is Andy, as always, and today we're back playing Go Go Nippon, my first trip to Japan. So in the last episode, uh, we landed in glorious Nippon, and uh, we met up with uh, with two girls who we originally thought were guys in the chat room because hey, easy mistake, right? <laughs> Usually it's the reverse, but uh, yeah, it could happen, I guess now, right? <laughs> Well, so anyway, we just landed in Japan, uh, just left Narita Airport, and we're going to head to these uh, lovely girls' homes. So, that's where we are now. So I like the uh, a lot of the ambient noise in this game. It's very reminiscent of uh, Japan. You got a lot of low Japanese stuff, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> Obviously, a lot less crowded than actual Japan, unless this is really, 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 really late at night. But even then, you still see a random salaryman every once in a while. So, yeah. <laughs> and, of course, the uh, not McDonald's McDonald's. <laughs> so, I think it's kind of funny. Anyway, let's continue. Mari Lipsies! Anyway, it's quite late. We'll head straight home tonight and show you around tomorrow. Rawr! Ah, uh, yes. This reminds me. This is the Japan that I remember. Walking down these streets late at night. <sighs> yeah. I'm, 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 just, I'm just taking it in. Getting ready for this playthrough in between episodes. I had a bowl of ramen just to kind of get myself in the salty mood and just be like, Yeah, Japan! So, Wow! This is the town where Makoto and Akira live. Even so, what's wrong? You look so disoriented, like you're in another country or something. It's just a regular suburb. It's not that strange, is it? It sure is. This stuff is uh, completely foreign to me. Because it actually is. What? What's so foreign about it? It's not like it's Japanese or anything. You stupid American. Baka Gaijin. Like the, the vending machine over there. It's got the juice and the cigarettes. That's true. But so what? That's the kind of see, thing you'd see anywhere. Not in America. <laughs> it absolutely is not. I don't think you'd find that anywhere but Japan. Eh, fair enough. Now, the juice and stuff, uh, you can find that everywhere. But the cigarettes... Definitely in Japan thing. But you have to have like a special card in order to use it. So um, that's how they get it. Because I know a lot of people are going to ask, well, if they have all these cigarette and alcohol and all that kind of stuff, vending machines, and how can they prevent kids from using it? Well, the alcohol machines, eh, <laughs> that's whatever. But the cigarette machines, um, you have to get a special uh, tobacco card in order to use it. It's a lot like the Suica card. It's like a little electronic card that you put on the little reader madu and uh you know once you put in your money touch the card and you get the smokes so there you go <laughs> not a smoker but uh, i have some smoker buddies so uh, that's what they did really really at least it's not how it is in my country guess there could be other countries there's vending machines out on the residential street corners i mean we got vending machines not nearly as common as Japan, though. That's one thing I really miss about it is uh, the vending machines just fucking everywhere, dude. Like, there'd be times where I'd be so lazy, <laughs> I didn't want to uh, <clears throat> go to the convenience store to get something to drink. So uh, there was a vending machine right outside my apartment complex. There's actually a set of them. So there's one in, like, the front, and then there's one in the back. And the one in the back had better selection and uh, better prices, too. But uh, sometimes I'd be lazy and, like, go downstairs, go to the vending machine in, like, uh, PJs and uh, moccasins, get something to drink, go back upstairs to my apartment, and then you carry on business as usual. And uh, I can't really do that in America because you got to drive everywhere. So, anyway, there's so many stores open at this time of night. Yeah, 24-hour convenies. Excellent. <laughs> Hey, look at that! What store is that over there? That's a convenie. 
Con oh, Conbini. It's short for convenience store. You can buy things like food and magazines there, even household supplies. That's true. Um, they, I mean, <laughs> don't expect to find every little thing there at the convenies, but uh, they have um, most things that you need to get by. Um, you can even get, like, uh, full meals and stuff there. Um, one of the things that I liked to get uh, from the convenience store, like, if I didn't want to cook anything at home or if I didn't want to go, like, to McDonald's or something like that to eat, um, typically what I would get after work is um, <clears throat> the tonkatsu curry rice set. So it was basically just like a little plastic bowl, and it had rice, curry mix, and uh, fried pork cutlet on top, tonkatsu. And uh, I got it for about 850 yen, so about $8 and some change American. And uh, it was really good. Just throw it in the microwave for a couple minutes, and you're good to go, man. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and... Uh, I'd always get breakfast and stuff at the convenience stores, too. And uh, usually it would be either uh, bananas or uh, anpan, which is uh, red bean paste uh, bread, or like a donut sort of deal. Uh, it was really good, so, yeah. <laughs> They're open 24 hours, so they really are convenient. It's true, it's true. It's also the magic of Don Quixote, or donkey, as it's known in Japan. Um... <clears throat> it's like a super convenient store, um, but they're not open 24 hours. They're open pretty late, though, around 11 o'clock at night, I think, is when they typically close now. Um, but I got a lot of things from Don Quixote, um, <clears throat> and it's just an awesome store. And I really wanted to do a store tour of the one that was near my apartment in Japan, but I just never really got around to it, so, eh, lost opportunity. A 24-hour store that sells all that within walking distance. Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> These girls are looking at me like I'm crazy. But there's so many 24-hour stores and vending machines around. All these things that would never exist outside of Japan. I wouldn't say that. I mean, we got 24-hour convenience stores here in the States, too, and vending machines and all that kind of stuff, but... Um, they're not nearly as widespread as uh, they are in Japan, so another reason why I want to move back. <laughs> when I think about it, I guess it's a sign that it's really a really safe area. That is true. That is one of the um, <clears throat> best things I loved about living out in Japan was the safeness of everything. And just, you know, the feeling that I don't have to worry about somebody breaking into my house Late at night, you know, I there's rarely a story of robbery or anything like that. I've never had anything stolen, um, nothing like that. So um, that's you know, again another reason why I want to move back, you know, because America is a little mm, in that department. That's Japan for you. Here we are. This is our home. Come on in. Yeah, enter the home. Oh, wow, that's a pretty neat, neat spread there. I've heard you're supposed to leave your shoes by the entrance in Japan. I guess it's true. Yeah, that's a, a very big thing. Um, and I even did that in my apartment, too. And it's, you know, not just a cultural thing, but it also helps uh, keep the, ha the, uh, the house or the apartment clean for a longer period of time. So um, since you're not tracking in dirt all the time, um, you don't get crap all over the floors as much. So, you know... I could get away with um, cleaning the floors. You know, I typically do them like once a week, but uh, sometimes I could get away with like two, maybe three weeks if I push it, but you know. So it's just a nice thing. So, um, and I still do it even today. Just leave my shoes at the, at the door. Sorry about the mic bump there. <laughs> Japanese style dining rooms have a tatami area too. I'm glad I remembered to pack my good socks. Um, tatami, as it says here, are soft mats used for flooring in traditional Japanese rooms. Wearing shoes or slippers on tatami is a big faux pas. Um, yeah, my tatami room, um, <laughs> because I had uh, some roommates and stuff, I had them uh, move into that room um, as like a guest room and stuff like that. So um, I just put, I just bought like a carpet and put it over the tatami. So that way, 
Um, they wouldn't damage it or anything like that. But, um, yeah, and, that, and I've heard that's a fairly common thing to do. Because uh, tatami mats are also really expensive to replace. And, like, you have to replace all of them. You can't just, like, individually replace one tatami mat. Because if you have to replace one, you have to replace the whole set. And I lived, and that room was a six tatami mat set. Which is another interesting thing. Um, <laughs> I know, uh, this playthrough is going to be so educational. But, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, so in addition to game, and because it's like a visual novel game, it's not as uh, mentally taxing, but I also want to give you guys information about Japan, too, because I lived there for like two years, so I know a thing or two. I don't know everything, but I'll let you guys in on what I do know. The tatami was really nice, very soft. I remember uh, the first night I ever spe I spent the night in my apartment. Um, I had just gotten the lease. It was uh, my birthday, actually. <laughs> So it was kind of funny that I got it on uh, my birthday. And uh, all I had there was my backpack and myself, pretty much. Um, uh, so, I mean, I had my pillow, but that was about it. Um, so I actually I didn't have my pillow. I take that back. Uh, so I just slept on the tatami because it was the softest thing there. Because I didn't have a futon, a bed, or none of that stuff yet. So I just slept on, on the tatami, and that was, eh, it was good for what it was. But yeah, um, if you do decide to move out to Japan or whatever, and actually like live there versus like stay for a couple weeks and do all that stuff, like they don't have tatami rooms typically in hotels unless you get like a super high-end hotel. <laughs> but uh, in houses they have them. So um, I would recommend putting a carpet over it just because, uh, you know, just to avoid damaging it and stuff like that because you know the tommy mats are very expensive to repair because you have to repair all of them if you mess one up so yeah just a little pro tip anyway let's continue it'd be embarrassing if i hadn't this is the living room and this and that's the kitchen <laughs> no shit please make yourself at home thanks in exchange you have to not make a mess i won't Fuck, dude. That's right. Anyway, let's go to your room. This is a Japanese-style guest room. Will it work for you? And this is kind of uh, <clears throat> what some tatami rooms also look like, too. But they, you know, that's what some of the carpeting and stuff like that looks like. And uh, that's another uh, use for the tatami room. Because the tatami room is basically like the multi-purpose room. Uh, so... You know, they can lay out stuff for guests. So if you have guests over, you could just have like extra futons and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Ellipses. What? More ellipses. Uh, oh, damn, I'm making her sad. Wow. Huh? It's Tommy room. A Japanese style room. That's amazing. I can really stay here. Uh, y yes. Well, this is our only guest room, so. Yeah. It's been my dream to stay in the Tommy room. Thank you. I see. I'm glad you're happy about it. Anyway, as long as you're here, you can uh, think of it as your room. Make yourself at home. Oh, and uh, typically, the Tommy room have the sliding doors, which um. At least in my case, they didn't always close all the way. And you had to make sure to, like, slide them just right. Otherwise, like, you know, one side would be uneven. And then, you you know, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I wouldn't recommend it for, like, super, super private affairs. Just, uh, putting that out there. Oh, yeah, that reminds me of my super private affair. Makoto. What? Um, where are your parents? If I'm gonna stay here for a while, I'd like to introduce myself. Oh, our parents aren't here. Our parents were called out of town for two weeks on urgent business. Cause you and I... It's a shame. They really wanted to meet you. So I'm afraid they won't be back until after you've gone. I'm really sorry. Their parents aren't here. They won't be back until after I'm gone? In other words, the whole time I'm in Japan, only ones in the house, the house, in the house house, in the house house. 
The only ones in the house house would be Makoto, Kira, and I. That's how that's gonna work? Jeez, dude. Fucking get a hold of yourself. No way! I mean, it's not like I've done anything to feel guilty about, but I have to stop thinking about this. They've been nothing but good to me. I can't betray the kindness they've shown me. I'm not gonna think about that stuff anymore. I won't think about it. I won't! Oh, this line. I'm a gentleman. I'm a gentleman. A gentleman. A gentleman. A gentleman. Yes. A gentleman. Good luck editing that, future Andy. Yes. Wow! But check out the spread. The table's covered in food. What? No, it's not. What the fuck's wrong with you? Huh. Is it surprising to hear that I prepared all this food? All this non-existent food on this table? Anyway, I don't care. I'm Sundere. If you're anxious about it, you don't have to eat. Now, let's toast to your first day and our first meeting together. I still have my mouth open. Uh... Oh, haha. <laughs> uh, cheers. Kanpai! Oh, it actually says it. <laughs> Cheers! Kanpai! Yay! Fine. Cheers. There's plenty of everything, so please eat your fill. Okay, uh, uh, oh, that, that's, that's right! There's something J uh, Japanese people say for eating, isn't there? For eating? You mean itadakimasu? Yeah, that's that word you said there. Okay, one more time. Itadakimasu! Itadakimasu! Humph! Rob, 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 How is it? Rob. Hmm. Ellipses in Japanese. It's great! This is amazing! So, you do think I don't look like a cook, right? I mean, like, you're like 12, right? Uh, yeah, because I make the mm sound like ah. Uh, Food Akira made sure was delicious. I even got to take a Japanese style bath. Oh my god. The things I would do to take a Japanese bath. That's one of the big things I miss about Japan were the baths. The American bathtubs are way too shallow and I don't like them. I hate them. <laughs> I just miss uh, coming home after a long day of work and uh, just taking my little shower, Madu, and then uh, hopping in the tub and just soaking for a couple minutes or so. Just relaxing. The washroom is kept separate uh, from the bathtub. And that's true. Um, they typically separate the uh, toilet from uh, like the bathing area. Now, I've heard in some... Uh, like, very small apartments, they condense them. But that's kind of rare, I think. I guess people here really do use the bathtub for daily relaxation. Yeah. Yeah. Al although, like, typically, I would probably do it, like, every other day. Just because it does use a lot of water, and it kind of takes a little bit of extra time. So, like, sometimes I'd just be like, ah, fuck, I'd just take a shower and go about my business. But, uh... For those long days where I'm just sore and I'm like, I hate life. Yeah, can't beat it, man. Can't beat it. It's even more surprised that you can fill it with hot water with the touch of a button. I mean, it depends on the system. Like, some systems are a little older. You have to, like, fire up the heater and stuff like that. But mine had its own little heating system. So you didn't just fill it with hot water. And then if the hot water got cool, sorry, you're shit out of luck. If you had set it there for a long period of time you can have uh, like a hot water heater just continue to heat the bath water so it wouldn't get cold they said you just touch a panel in the kitchen it fills the hot water to the proper level yeah you can do that too wow the heat from the bath is making me so sleepy now that i think about it i didn't sleep on the plane at all so I'm fucking tired as all get out. I think it's been a nice night on my futon. My
done. For that, I should charge myself on. Good thing I brought an 8 type 100 volt adapter and plug for Japanese outlets. Most American electronics will work just fine in Japanese homes. The only thing is, they don't have the little third prong. So they don't have the third pr prong ground. So it's just the two plugs. So uh, as long as your electronics don't have that, you should be fine. And even still, like you can go to like an electronic shop and get an adapter for that as well. So there you go. Now to set the charger. Okay. This dude. Gonna make the most of my day in Tokyo tomorrow. Tokyo. I wonder what's waiting for me out there. Got to fill the album in my mind with all kinds of sights and information. It's gonna be so much fun. Go, go, Nippon. My first trip to Japan. Day one. All right, so uh, I think this is a pretty good time to uh, call an episode. And with that said, this is the Andy Son. Time for now, thanking you guys Boop, for tuning into this episode of Andy Cade and my playthrough of Gogo -Go Nippon, my first trip to Japan, and uh, for watching my other stuff. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.